the, sorry. Yeah, of course. This was 30, 40 yard shots we were looking at. Okay, the first 10 and 20 yard shots were lovely because the swing was only going back so far. There wasn't much to go wrong. The club went back this far and you sort of chipped to the ball nicely. And you did the first one 10, you did 8 yards, and the second one at 20, you did 17, so you did them straight away. When you got to that 30 yards, it's where the club gets beyond kind of here, but short of there. What is the club doing and how far back has it gone in between those two lines? Where's the club? And there's the doubt and the worries you said. So this was the previous one. Quite a long back swing for 30 yards. And then coming through, all trying to sort of stop and a bit of a scoop and flick. And you see the ball sort of scuttling across the ground there, quite low. Not really getting the strike you'd want to do. And all looks a bit kind of like, go and get up in the air kind of thing. And just hoping and praying the ball kind of does what you want to do. Now this one here on the left, if we just watch the on the right, sorry, just watch the practice swing, okay, as you go back and through. That's a nice sort of symmetry in terms of how far your arms go back. So your arms kind of sort of level with the mid torso there. As you swing through, kind of the same position now as your mid torso, as your, your body's twist, it's gone a bit taller obviously, but same relative position there with your body. And it's a nice sort of free swing of that club. There's no kind of head down or scooping or trying to get under this ball compared to that sort of mm. dropping down, trying to almost look underneath the shrine, go on, get up in the air kind of thing. Okay? And then you do a couple of these swings, and now your arm look a lot smoother, a lot softer. Then when the ball gets there, a lot shorter backswing as you go through. Good strike of that ball, and the swing through now to a final through position. Your hands now up here more rather than sort of squeaking down here, so I'm just trying to go on, get up in the air. And if we can get that rhythm to the swing, take away the anxiety and the worry and the doubt, knowing that if you swing the golf club back, here, that there, roughly speaking, with a wall, roughly with a wedge, is 10 yards. That's 20. There was 30. That's probably 35 in the middle, so that's 40. So depending on where you stop on that sort of arc of the swing, mm. that's how far it's going to go. And if you went back fully, your club would probably go about 50 yards with that club, give or take, because the club now would sort of go a bit further back. But you'd know where that club is when you do a full swing, because that's kind of what you... Most of the shots in golf we play are full swings. Mm. Okay, whereas you driver or a pitching wedge, a full swing, we kind of know where the arms are, where the club's going to be, all these things where we're confident, and therefore we know where the club is. Okay, there's less doubt and worry. When you swing back, is the club kind of here or here? A lot of people, when they make their first swing, okay, swing the golf club back to here, and it goes way back up here somewhere. They're like, oh, did it really go back that far? They're not sure how far it's gone back. Yeah. But they get a message from the sort of club to their brain going, oh, hang on, have I got too much power? I take a little bit of power off. And that sort of flinching and quitting on the club to try and slow down the power. Once you've created this much power, if you're going 30 yards and you went back there and that was 40 yards, I'd rather you hit a ball 40 yards properly than trying to hit 10 yards less and duff it across the green or just duff it two or three yards in front of you. Mm -hmm. So it's easier said than done, I know, but committing to the distance you're going to have, whatever it may be, is the important thing. Your arms are just going to keep going through and swinging through. It's a lot more relaxed. If there's any tension or <laughs> flinching, and you could see some of your practice swings even when you were before the shot there, sort of flicking around here and trying to get up in the air, just allow the arms to swing back and through. It takes the tension out of your body completely. If you actually look at these two swings just at sort of full speed, that one, it's a bit kind of, even your feet are all out, but it just looks a bit kind of quick and jerky, whereas the right hand one here now... There's a little bit more rhythm to this swing. Your arms are kind of going through. It's not as kind of and jabby. The speed is still there to get the distance, which is great, but it's it's smoother transition from back and forth. So like I saw a swing of a pendulum. Once that swing starts yeah. going, it just keeps going. What you were going was back too far, then trying to sort of stop it. But if the second you try and stop the pendulum before impact, it's going to bounce off and it's going to deflect back this way. So the club comes back and through and then sort of deflects back and gets it wobbly. There's not much control that club. Mm. You're just trying to fight what the club's going to do rather than, okay, just swing it through. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Good stuff.